welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I am running you guys through my hospital bag. I'm officially 35 weeks, which means I have a month or so left, and that means that I really need to pack my hospital bag. Um, I never thought I'd be the kind of person that would be like so last minute on this kind of thing. Why am I out of breath? I've been like dragging everything in here prepping for this video. Um, I never thought I'd be so last minute. I thought I'd be like two months out, you know, plus like fully packed and ready to go, but I've just been like procrastinating. I've also just ordered some things that I was waiting for to come in so that I could pack everything at once and I wouldn't get disorganized. Um, anyways, I'm so excited. I made a full list here. Devin's hospital bag checklist. Um, I will copy and paste this on the like comment section below so that you guys can have my pack list. I am usually not an overpacker to be honest. Like I'm the kind of person that goes on vacation, like has to pack in a carry on. I hate checking bags, but for, <laughs> I've watched a lot of videos and I've read a lot of lists and I just feel like I've combined basically everything from everyone saying what they really, really needed um into one list and i would rather for this sort of thing have everything i need also with covid i'm not allowed to have anybody in the room besides basically johnny my husband so it's not like you know if i need something my mom can come and run it up to me in the hospital so i'd rather just pack everything and then have too much than get there and be like oh my god why didn't i bring these socks so anyways Let's just like dive right in. Um, this list looks very long. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit all in one suitcase. Um, well, it's not going to. Let's just start off with, I'm gonna just go down the list. So first thing on my list is a, a binder or something printed with all your medical records from pregnancy, your ID, insurance card, birth wish list, whatever. So I have like a little packet here. I've also written down my birth wish list, like things that I want. Um, like, do you want an epidural? Do you want like intermittent, intermittent like fetal model monitoring? Um, whatever. Like, do you want your baby to be bathed right away? It's just like all these things that you want. Also, like a copy of my ID and insurance card, also are in that. Um, that will be important to bring, obviously, to the hospital. Um, I heard you hand out your like birth wish list, like the nurses, so they all are aware. Like, I'm doing cord blood blanking. I'm keeping my placenta. Another thing, I have a cooler for my placenta because I will be taking supplements um, of my placenta after, which apparently helps with like healing, postpartum depression, just like putting some of the nutrients back in your body that you lose maybe during birth. So maybe kind of weird if you guys have not heard of that. Look into it because it has a lot of benefits, but I'm not gonna get into that. So I'm bringing that cooler and then I guess the first thing I'll go over with you is this bag. Um, so I was gonna originally try to fit this in a like duffel bag, but it was like all the really bulky things. And so I just used this like comforter pillow bag that we had in storage already. And this is like things that I'm gonna need for like after I give birth basically in the room to make myself comfortable. Also I have in here, um, I'm not gonna pull it all out, but I have this Ziploc full of like hand wipes, hand sanitizer, masks, room freshener spray, like things to just, you know, wipe down, clean the room, make it smell good. I also have, I'm doing cord blood banking, so I have my box for that here, which you need to bring. Also in the back, I have a tripod for my camera. Camera, I'm being used right now, so. I'll have to throw that in there. And then I have a speaker because I love music and I've already made like a birthing playlist. And then in this bag, I have two pillows, one for Johnny and I, because I heard the pillows are horrible. And if you're there for a day or two or whatever, um, bring your own pillows. So bulky, doesn't seem necessary, but I can imagine if the pillows are terrible, you're just like not sleeping well. Um, I'm bringing two fuzzy blankets, one for Johnny, one for me. I'm a very nice partner, okay? Thinking of my husband. Um, another thing in there that was recommended was a towel, which is on the other side of here. I'm bringing just one. I heard the towels that they give you is like 
a little hand towel, super thin and not ideal. I mean, I can't imagine I'm gonna be showering that much, but I did a poll on my IG and was like, do I really need a towel? And everyone was like, yes, you need a towel. Like the towels suck. So I'm bringing a towel, <laughs> whatever. I had room in this massive bag. And then the other thing that takes up a lot of space is a nursing pillow, which I never thought of. And personally didn't think that I would need in the hospital because I feel like that's something you may have or you could use pillows or like you're there such a short period of time. I didn't think I'd need a nursing pillow, but a lot of you guys recommended to bring that, especially like as a new time, new mom, doesn't know how to, you know, nurse. It's really handy to have a nursing pillow, whatever. So this is my big bag of like, room stuff um, and I'm just gonna keep it in this plastic bag and that's just that <laughs> so that's that then we'll go on to stuff for uh, let me get comfortable stuff for me so another thing I was a trip I need but was a breast pump I didn't want to bring like my whole breast pump so I just brought this manual one Somebody, not somebody, but a lot of people said that like if your milk isn't coming in, you know, easily or you're having trouble latching or whatever, like you might just want to have a breast pump um, just to like get it going or whatever. So I have a breast pump when in doubt I need it. Um, then obviously toiletries. I'm not going to like open my whole bag and show you everything, but basically like shampoo, conditioner, scrunchies, lip balm was like a huge one, nipple balm, whatever, um, face products makeup remover, like whatever you usually use. Have all my toiletries in here. Also have my husband's in here, which is pretty basic, like toothbrush and deodorant, etc. So I've got my toiletry bag. Then I've also got my, a little makeup bag. I can't imagine I'm gonna be doing like a thing of makeup, but I've heard that sometimes when you're sitting in labor and it's like a really long time and you're bored or something that like maybe you wanna freshen up your face. I don't know. I'm just having this little bag, I'm just bringing this little bag of makeup because I feel like it can't hurt. So, when in doubt, like I said, we'd rather have it. And then I have like a postpartum kit, which everybody said, a lot of people said that the hospital provides you with everything you really need postpartum, like hairy bottles, diapers, disposable underwear, pads, whatever. Um, and some of you were like, they are terrible, like you're definitely gonna bring your own. So um, I just have this like postpartum kit bag. It's kind of bulky, kind of takes a lot of space, but it's got like nipple balm, disposable underwear, like those padsicles from Frida, um, different size pads, like, you know, whatever. Just maybe I don't want the hospitals and I use it. Again, I, this is my first time, so I can't imagine I'm gonna be that picky with my postpartum care, but you never know. And then another thing that everyone recommended was snacks. So I have a snack bag. And as you can see, I'm not a healthy snacker. I've got like Smart Sweets, Cheez-Its, popcorn, cookies, whatever. Um, I heard you can get really hungry after labor, so we'll probably maybe order food or something. I don't know, or get the cafeteria food, but snack bag. Um, I'm sure my husband's gonna be eating that basically before I can even get to it. <laughs> Uh, another thing you guys said was that you get really, really hot in labor, so I just brought this portable fan. Ooh! Portable little fan. I don't know. I honestly am not the kind of person that gets very hot easily, but everybody was like, you're gonna be so hot. You get so hot. So I brought a fan. I also brought, this could kind of be included in my your bag, but these like aromatherapy oils. A lot of you said that like you get nauseous from either epidural, anesthesia, whatever, and that like peppermint oil or lavender oil, certain aromatherapy like oils are really great for like breathing. So I just literally brought, bought this like little kit. It has like every different oil. I'm gonna bring that, maybe rub it on my wrist or something. I don't know. These are just your guys' recommendations. Another thing that a lot of people said they had, but I wasn't sure if I'd need, was my own um, like birthing gown. Obviously they give you one, maybe, I'm so not sure if I'm gonna put this in my bag or not in the end, but it's like this Freedom Mom, like super cozy birthing gown that has like the buttons here and snaps. So, like I guess if I didn't wanna be in theirs, or maybe after I birth and mine's disgusting and I wanna like put not on clothes, but like another gown I could put this on. So I'm kind of in denial on whether or not I should bring this. 
Let me know in the comments if I should pull that out. If there's something that you guys think I need, or if you're like, you do not need that, please comment. Um, okay, so that's that, clothing wise. I bought, I brought two pairs of pajamas. Both have button, everyone said that you need to bring like the button down so it's easy for nursing. These are super cozy. Uh, once ever J one stars above by Target, which is like the softest pajamas. So I have those pajamas, two PJs. I feel like I'm gonna be living in the PJs, honestly. Like I brought a sweat outfit, but I feel like I'm gonna just end up wearing pajamas all day every day. And I'm hopefully gonna only be there like a day or two. A going home outfit. I'm gonna bring a sweatsuit option, but I also have this like super, again, button front, up button front, elastic waistband, waistband, like super soft, silky. They're not pajamas technically, like outfit, but they look like pajamas. All my stuff just looks the same actually. But yeah, this is just what I'll probably wear going home. It's like soft and not tight. I don't feel that like, some people say they like the tight leggings. I just feel like I'd rather be breezy. Um, and then I have it also in black because I hear dark colors are a must in the hospital. So those will be like loungy outfits. And then I also have another loungewear outfit. I'm just like, I feel like I'm overpacking. People said like two pajamas, two loungewear outfits and a going home outfit. So I'm honestly, All right, I'm putting it in, and if it fits, it fits. If not, I'll take it out later. Another lounge room. <laughs> um, and then for myself, cozy socks with grippies. So they've got those plastic grippies on there. So cozy socks with grippies, bringing those. And then this is my husband's stuff. I'm gonna just put this down here for now. And then the rest of my stuff. Oh, nursing tank, nursing bra, and like some postpartum underwear, which again, I'm probably gonna be using the disposable ones, but just bringing two comfy nursing bras and one nursing tank. Um, a lot of you guys said that that was recommended. I'm not like, I probably won't even be wearing a bra, but maybe I will. Also in that postpartum kit is like, um, those like nursing pads, like I guess it's league or whatever. And then the last thing I brought for myself, clothing wise, is gonna be a comfy robe. Everybody said a cozy robe. So I've got this like soft black long robe. Um, everybody said to bring that and everybody said to bring black, like dark colors because I guess there's a lot of liquids coming out and whatever, gross. And for myself, I also am bringing shower shoes everybody said was a must I guess the shower is not nice and um, some slippers they have like hard hard on the bottom so I guess if you're like walking around the hospital or something um, and you want cozy slippers cozy slippers so that's all I brought for myself then I brought my husband's stuff um, which is lounge clothes underwear socks toiletries t-shirts sweatshirt so basically I have his underwear a few socks I have like t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, and like two sweatpants. That seems like way too much for Johnny. <laughs> I'm trying to be a nice wife and bring him stuff, but I'm running out of room in my bag. But anyways, stuff for your husband. What? I don't know. If you guys want to bring, if you guys want to be generous and pack light or heavy for your husband, it's up to you. But I feel like mine's the kind <laughs> that would probably like the option, especially if you are there for more than one day. You're like in the same pants. I don't know, it's getting grimy. It's gonna fit. Um, and then it's underwear, socks, etc. So, okay, that's it for Johnny. And then electronic wise, everyone said to bring like iPad or laptop. I'm gonna bring my iPad. I'm sure my husband will bring his laptop. Chargers, everyone said to bring a long charger. So I have a long charger, um, one long iPhone charger for myself because I'll be in the bed. 
the outlets far. One short one for Johnny, um, iPad slash computer charger, Bluetooth charger that also can charge my phone, etc. Debating if I need to throw in AirPods or headphones, let me know on that front. Oh, and then eye masks, because everyone said sometimes like the nurses turn on the lights to come in and check on you or the baby, you might want an eye mask to rest. So that is basically it for my stuff. And then last thing is the baby stuff. So I got a cute little thing of all my baby goodies. I'm not gonna really pull them all out, but I'm running you guys through what I packed. So I don't feel like I'm gonna be using pacifiers like day one of my child's life. Um, a lot of you guys said, bring two different options in case they don't like one. I don't know. I'm just gonna throw this in this little pacifier case with two different pacifiers in there. Um, I'm also bringing like two little plush toys to put like in the corner of the little hospital bed to take a picture. Um, my own diaper cream, I don't know what diaper cream they have, and my own wipes that I wanna use when I'm like home that are like, you know, plant-based, not plant-based fibers, I sound like a vegan. Just like clean wipes. I don't know which wipes they use at the hospital. I'm sure they're great, but just whatever. People said bring your own wipes. And then I've got two mittens that goes over like their hands, two pairs of socks, um, two hats, two little onesies, um, like pajama onesies, and two blankets, um, one burp cloth for when you're feeding and burping the baby, I guess. And then um, her going home outfit. I have two options for going home outfits and I'm either gonna narrow them down before or bring them both and then whatever I'm feeling that day, but whatever. So that's it for the baby. And then also I wrote down my Duna, which is gonna be the, her car seat that I'm gonna use in the beginning. So it's like a car seat slash stroller. So that's basically it for baby. I don't think I'm gonna put this in my suitcase. I don't think it'll fit. I'll probably bring just like another little bag that'll be like the baby stuff. But here's all her stuff. Oh, I'm also bringing her baby book, which I'm not gonna show you because it has her name on it, but there's a place to put her footprints in the baby book for us in the hospital. So I will be doing that as well. And that's it. I mean, it's a lot. I'm not sure it's all gonna fit. Please again, let me know if I'm missing something or if you're like, you don't need that at all. I'm open to suggestions being a first time mom, but um, I feel like I've got it covered and rather have a lot than a little. And uh, that's it. I'm finally ready for this baby to get here. I'm like so excited, so nervous. Honestly, like really wasn't nervous for birth at all. Like I was just like, my body's gonna do what it's gonna do. Like whatever, whatever's meant to be is gonna be. Um, as long as like baby's safe and healthy, as long as I'm safe and healthy. And like, as it's creeping closer, I'm kind of like, God, it's kind of freaking me out the idea of birth, like having this thing happen to come outside of me. But I'm just honestly so excited for her to be here. Um, I'll also do a little nursery reveal at some point. So stay tuned for that. So like, and subscribe to this video and my channel so that you don't miss any of the videos that I'll be posting. Um, and yeah, that's it guys. Baby almost here. It's almost baby time. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I packed in my hospital bag.